Good morning, everyone. This is Jeffrey, and welcome back to the Desert Inkwell. This week, we are going for a single pen topic on the video, and it is the Esterbrook X Accutron Astronaut Pen. So let's get into it. I saw this at the DC Pen Show. This is one of my nicer DC Pen Show purchases, although I really didn't buy anything bad. There were two of these out on the Esterbrook table when I was there and decided, walked past it once. The second time I walked past, I was like, yeah, I need this pen in my collection. So off of the paper sleeve, now I think because it's a collaboration or special edition, it's, it's a slide out box um, instead of the lift up one that we're used to with Esther Brooks. Um, you can see we have a sort of, you know, pen holder in here that's part of the box. I wouldn't use that long term. The inside is the Accutron logo in black and silver. Let's put this out of the way and we'll get to the good stuff. I'm going to put some paper under just so you have more contrast here with the pen. This pen is officially described as marbled gray ebonite, but there is some tan. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. There is tan, there's gray, there's taupe. Uh, obviously black, almost a blue-gray in here, and the the markings, the colorway on this pen are just fantastic. I it immediately caught my attention. Um, we still have the typical Esterbrook slip cap, which if you don't have an Esterbrook, when you put that on here. Um, there's a little bounce, so you give it a little push, and this one is one and a half turns to cap it up. And let's go ahead and take that cap off. Esterbrook caps do, this cap does stand up on its own. On this band around the body, we have the word, well, first of all, there's some stars in here. Let me, this is a tough one to show. It's a lot of detail in this band here. And then it says astronaut. There's a rocket ship, the Accutron logo, and then some, some little stars here. This is a black, um, uh, extra fine nib. And of course, when we unscrew this, we have the Esterbrook converter. Now I have not inked this pen up yet, folks. I have not, I repeat, have not inked this pen up. I lately have been on a big permanent black kick for pens. Uh, well, mainly one pen, which is the Lamy 2000. And I have been using Mont Blanc Permanent Black. I did order some uh, Platinum Chao Kuro ink um, online, but someone had swapped it out with water. And so it was this kind of gray water. And if you saw my Instagram, you'll know about that. But then I went to go order um, just regular Platinum Black. And remember that I had purchased this Mont Blanc Black Permanent Ink a while ago. And so gave this a shot. I, the reason I didn't initially use this is when I swatched it, it was um, very streaky. Now, what you can't see that has happened while I'm over here running my mouth is <laughs> that I just spilled ink all over myself. Um, you know what? I really need to give up buying these like decorative pads for my desk because there's not a single one that I have not ruined in some way. Um, 
Normally, I can wash them, but being permanent black ink, I'm just now having to clean that up. Oh, good goal. Okay. Well, we know the ink is black. That's for sure. So, <laughs> see, I've got it everywhere. Oh, brother. You know what? They're going to take my fountain pen card away and make me go back and to use a crayon. And for any of you in the military, no, I have never eaten a crayon. Um, so let's put the <laughs> beautiful pen back, which hopefully I will be able to ink up without spilling this ink further. So I just uh, popped the converter on and then screwed this counterclockwise so that the plunger or the mini piston is all the way in. We're gonna dip this pen into the ink and nothing is gonna happen because it's very hard to show without moving that. Okay, perfect. I am gonna wipe this pen off with a paper towel and I have switched to using these blue shop towels um, whenever possible and it was kind of accidental I had bought them to clean the grill outside of the grill um, and I had some left and I find that they uh, leave very little lint um, so there we go Mont Blanc permanent black. It's all over my hands. Let's hope it's not so permanent that I can't get it off of there. Uh, lovely little Rorschach test here on the paper. Uh, this paper, by the way, you will see again soon in a how to approach this hobby on a budget. Um, this is fountain pen friendly paper to practice your penmanship on that I purchased on Timu. Now, you can all see that. There's a little so cool, but I mean, I'm not typically going to be pouring ink on a page. Uh, so that's been really good. I have tested this paper and don't get ink bleeding through. So that's fantastic. So again, we're going to remove the cap on this pen, and let's give this a shot. I have not seen this ink out of an extra fine nib yet, so let's say... Wonderful, the air up there. I don't know, just a random. Mr. Brook, SD. Accutron. And I want to make sure this is marbled. Perfect. So I'm not having any dryness with this ink. Um, there's no point on the nib that is skipping. And we all know that Esther Brooks use a Yovo number six nib. And in my experience, uh, uh, consistently providing a nice writing experience. And when I say nice writing, in this instance, 
what I'm referring to is reliable. Um, you know, a, a Yovo steel nib, you can get all different nib grinds for, you know, cursive italic, architect, journaler, Waverly. And in Esterbrook SD, the quality is there. The pen is well weighted. Uh, I have no issues with their feeds or their converters. And so in this instance, because I have vowed to not just say something is a nice writer, to tell you why, um, this pen is extremely smooth and comfortable and ebonite uh, warms in the hand when you use it. I have two other ebonite pens and I'll show you those in a, in a later video, uh, possibly next week. I am very happy to have this unique pen in my collection. I have not found them online, but if you love the gray marbled ebonite on Accutron's website, they do have the rollerball in this material. So uh, some other details is we have this little band on the cap, which we see more on their uh, special editions, like the Winter White has a gold little band here in the cap. We have gold hardware, or I'm sorry, black hardware on this pen. And it is, this is a very handsome pen. You could, of course, use this in any boardroom, any meeting. Um, just keep Ebonite out of the sun. Um, and put away... Ebonite is just a brand name for a hard vulcanized rubber. So when rubber's made, it, they continue it in the vulcanizing process longer um, to get ebonite. It was meant actually and has been around for quite some time as a replacement for ebony wood and was used um, in the Victorian era very often in lieu of jet, which is a gem mineral that was used um, heavily to create mourning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, mourning jewelry, um, so chains and buttons, um, when maybe a family did not have the budget for jet. So I love it, I, I will use it uh, this week. Um, I'm not concerned about recommending an Esterbrook SD right out of the gate that I necessarily haven't used because we all know, well, I know, I can trust Esterbrook's quality on their pens. Uh, so there, there it is. I hope you have a fantastic week. The goal was a shorter video this week um, as to not monopolize Carmen, that's the word I couldn't think of. Monopolize your time today. Have a great week, and I will see you next weekend with a new video. All right. Have a good day. Bye.